Hi, it's me, Mr. Tang. Uh, I'm here once again to do the next uh, topic, which is going to be circles. Okay, so as you can see on the um, on the screen, uh, I actually got all the questions from here. Okay, you can just go and buy, go to the popular bookshop to buy all of them. Uh, every primary school student would have been told to buy something like this. Okay, so we're just going to focus on questions uh, from the circles. Um, we're going to take a look and see how we can apply the concepts. Okay, so I'm just looking for circle questions. So that's the first one. Okay, let me zoom in a little bit. Okay, the shaded figure is a semicircle of diameter 20 cm. So the diameter is 20. What is the parameter of the shaded figure? So uh, the thing to take note here is that they are asking for the parameter. So what is the parameter? The parameter consists of here the semicircle as well as the 20 cm. Okay, so that is the mistake that most students make. They didn't add the 20 cm is from 2017. So how to find the parameter? So the circumference, uh, there's a formula. What's the formula for circumference, anyone? It's 2 pi r. So circumference, yeah. Okay, so the circumference is two pi r, two times three point one four, and what's the radius? Radius is ten, and since this is paper one, you can actually do all the workings out without using a calculator. So two times three point one four is six point two eight. 6.2 is 62.8 cm. Now 2 pi r is one whole circle, so I need to find semicircle. Uh, in a semicircle, I just divide by 2. So the, the 1.4 cm is the semicircle. Okay, next I need to add the 20 cm. So 31.4 plus 20.0. Five, 51.4 okay so it tests decimals as well so the answer for this particular question is 51.4 which is option number two okay let's okay we are looking for circle questions okay so i'm gonna skip the rest okay here's another one uh, this looks difficult this was last year last year's Question. So the figure is formed by joining two quarter circles of radius 4 cm. So the radius is 4 cm. Radius means uh, here to here. This is 4 cm. Okay, find the parameter of the figure. Round your answer to the nearest whole number. So, first of all, I have a semicircle here, plus this part. <coughs> This is a semicircle. So to find the um, now, I need to find the parameter. Parameter means uh, I gotta find the circumference. So once again, formula two pi radius radius four. So it's eight times three point one four. Uh, gonna do a bit of working. Three point one four times eight because two times four is eight. So thirty two. 11 carry over 24 25 boot 25.12 so 25.12 cm is the entire circle okay i only need semicircle so i got to divide by 2 0.12 divided by 2 uh, i should get we can do a long division 25.12 divided by 2 now uh, I'm just using, I'm not using any shortcuts, I'm just showing all the workings. Of course uh, there are several shortcuts that you can use. Okay, I'm just showing all the workings uh, so you know how it works. So 0, 5, I don't want to skip any steps here. So 1, one 2 times 5, 10, so 1, 2, 6, so it's 12.56. Okay, so the yellow color part is 12.56 centimeters. Then how about the rest? So I have a 4 cm here, 4 cm here. Uh, so I gotta add 8. So 12.56 plus 8 will give me 20.56 
but I still have a uh, 3cm and a 3cm okay two sides there so plus 6 uh, so you get uh, okay, plus 6 26.56 6. so round off your answer to the nearest whole number now this is 26.56 6, so the the, the whole number is here, uh, you look at this, it's a 5 So this guy, the 6 got to go up, so the answer is 2 Okay, 27 cm That's it, next So we're doing this video, it's a Monday morning um, Everybody has gone to school Yeah, parents watching this They have more free time right now, isn't it? <laughs> so there's more free time for you to do whatever stuff that you want to do okay next uh, circle let's find circle so 2018 that was a circle row row why no circles okay here we go so this is a uh, 2018 people one so the figure shows two circles the diameter of the big is three times the diameter of the small the diameter of the big is 42 so diameter means it's uh, we cut across. Okay, this is 42 cm. Find the area of the shaded part. So this is 42 cm. Radius radius will be 21 cm. It's the radius of the big one is 21 centimeter. Um, let's find the radius of the small one. Now because the diameter, uh, the big circle is three times. Three times means we divide by three. So r the small one is actually seven centimeter so here radius oh shit seven okay the radius is only seven okay radius of the small one is seven so if I know the radius of the small one is seven um, well the strategy is just to take the area of the big circle minus area of small circle let's find the area of the big one so pi r square okay area is pi r square so 22 over 7 times pi times 21 times 21 okay so this poses a bit of a problem uh, because of the big multiplication here okay so never mind let's do it go by 7 is 1 this is 3 and we have 66 times 21 so working on one side times 21 6, 6, 12, 12, 13. So it's a 6, 8, 1, 3, 8, 6. CM squared. That will be the uh, area of the big circle. Next, find the small circle. 22 over 7 times. 7 times 7. Cancel, cancel. So 22 times 7 is 154. Okay, next, uh, we need to find the um, the area of the shaded part. So just minus, take away. It's 1386 minus 154. It's 2, 3, 2, 1. So the answer is 1, 2, 3, 2 cm squared. Okay, so that will be the area of the shaded part. And how many marks do we get for this? We get a total of 2 marks. Next, moving on, more circles. Okay, 2016. Okay, this one looks a bit tough. Which paper is this? Paper 2. So we got to use a calculator for this. So the outline of the shaded figure is formed by three identical smaller quarter circles. 19. Okay, so two identical larger quarter circles and three straight lines. Where are the three straight lines? One, two. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So the three straight lines, okay, I got it. What's the radius of the large quarter circle? So uh, three identical small quarter circles. Okay, where are the three identical small quarter circles? This is one of them and this is the other one and of course the other one right here okay so we get three quarter circles 
Now if they are identical that means this is 4 and this is 4 and this is 4 This is 4 Right? Radius So 2 identical large quarter circles So the large, uh, I'm just going to use red Large Here and here, that's a big one And 3 straight lines Okay, so what is the radius of the larger quarter circle? So this is 4 cm, looking in the middle, uh, looking at the middle, let's zoom in to the figure. So we can see this. So if this is 4 cm, here should be 2 and here should be 2 as well. Okay, do you see that? And this is 2, why? Because the radius is 4, so you divide into 2, this is 2, so here is 2 and 2 as well. So the question was the radius of the large quarter circle radius consists of here to here, answer is 6 centimeter. Next, find the parameter of the shaded figure. Okay, so parameter of the shaded figure consists of a semicircle red color. So let's use red color to find the red color. Red color pen. So half times 2 times pi times R so the R is 6 okay we're finding the red color portion so half of so 1 times so we gotta use a calculator 3.4 times 6 we get 18.84 okay so that's the red color part next we find the blue color part so the blue color part consists of a uh, three quarter of a circle. So it's three quarter times two times pi. Radius is four. Okay, use calculator. Three over four times two times three point one four times four. Uh, same. Eighteen point eight four. Okay, so I got three of the quarter circles and um, two big ones. So what else do I have? I need three straight lines. Okay, so part B, parameter is simply 18.84 plus 18.84 okay, plus so I got all the curved parts. Uh, next, I need this, this, one, two, and this. Okay, because I already have all the curved parts, so I need the straight line parts. So straight line parts is two plus two. So this is a two, two, four, it's eight. Okay, final answer should be let me check eighteen point eight four plus eighteen point eight four plus eight. Forty five point six eight. Forty-five point six eight centimeter. That's it. Okay. How long did we take to do that? I didn't time, but uh, not too long, I guess. Uh, this is for four marks. Okay. Next. Skip. Skipping this. Doing all circles. Skip this. Do circles. Circles, okay. It's a circle question. Then the last one. Yeah, I think that's the. Yeah, that's the last circle question. Last circle question. When was this? 2017. So, uh, as you can see, every year there will be a circle question. And so far, it's not too difficult. I didn't use any of the advanced circle concepts yet. Okay, so pretty okay. Yeah, so uh, that's why. I say all the time we gotta practice the fundamental. Your fundamental must be good. You know, don't keep doing all the very difficult questions. Make sure you know your simple stuff. Okay, the simple stuff is equally important. Come say together with me. Do the fundamental. Yeah, can hear you. Okay, do the fundamental. Next. So uh, question number five. The figure below is made of rectangle, semicircle, quarter circle, area two eight eight. Find the parameter. <gasps> okay, this is difficult. Why? Now, there, there isn't any um, special advanced thing, but it is not that straightforward. That's why it's quite difficult. 
Okay, it's not super straightforward. Let's see how I can solve this. Now the area of the rectangle is 288. So area of rectangle, the area of the rectangle is 288. So we have a couple of clues. Huh? First clue is, uh, okay, let's break it up into different units. So can you see that? Uh, let me zoom in. I actually haven't seen this question. I mean, I've seen it before, but don't, I don't remember doing it. So I'm doing it for the first time. Okay, but my first intuition is that I need to break it up into different parts. So for example, this this thing here is one part. So this is like a radius. So I want to find out how many radius are there. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So the length. Uh, is 8R okay so there are 8 radiuses then how about the breadth 1 2 3 4 4 radiuses okay then something wrong eh? so the length has got 8 radiuses and the breadth has got 4 radiuses Okay, so when I multiply them together, I should get a rectangle which is 288. So the this is 288 cm squared. So my problem now is uh, what is one radius? Because eight radius times four radius should give me 288. You know, so there are several ways you can do this. You can do try and error. Okay, you can use try error. What I know here is that the 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 length of I mean the the breadth, the breadth is actually half of the length. Okay, let me just count one more time. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep, that's the length and one, two, three, four. Okay, four for the breadth. So length is double of the breadth. When you multiply that, uh, you should get two eighty eight. Now let's say you find that difficult to do. Oh, what did I just do? Okay, lock up. Okay, let me try that again. Okay, so what else? Another strategy that you can use is uh, you can break it up. Okay, break it up into squares. So what do you mean by that? So one, two, three, four. Okay, let's say I cut here, like that. So I zoom in on one square. So this is one square. So this one square consists of four radius, and here also four radius. So to find the area of this square is uh, you take two hundred eighty-eight divided by two, so it is uh, one forty-four. And intuitively, I know that one forty-four, one four four is actually twelve times twelve. Okay, how do I know that? Because I do a lot of math. I got mathematics sense. Okay, when you do a lot of math questions, you develop this type of uh, math sense. Yeah. So you look at one four, you know it's twelve times twelve. That means four r equals to twelve. This four r equals to twelve. That means now four times r gives you twelve. That means the radius has got to be three. So r is equals to three. That's it. So if I know r equals to three, um, wait, find the parameter of the rectangle. Uh, okay, so the parameter of the rectangle consists of Let's just use red eh? So parameter of the rectangle consists of uh, Okay, let's find the length So length is equal to 8 times 3 24 And how about the breadth? Breadth is equal to 4 times 3 So that's 12 Okay, so find the parameter of the rectangle parameter equals to uh, 24 plus 12 times 2 so that's 36 72 centimeters okay is it correct yep so the parameter is 72 next find the area of the figure Okay, so the area of figure, I got uh, the rectangle 288. Next, I need to find how many circles are there. That would speed up uh, the process. A big deal. So let's find the number of circles. 
So how do I find the number of circles? I find the number of quarter circles. Okay. This is a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 26, 27, 28. So there are 28 quarter circles. Now if there are 28 quarter circles, how many full circles are there? Uh, so 28 quarter is 7. Okay, so that's seven circles. So, well, area of circles, seven of them, seven times pi r squared. So the radius is three. Okay, so calculator, one ninety eight. Okay, so the area of all the circles is 198 and we are supposed to find the area of the figure so we just take 288 plus 198 so area of figure 288 plus 198 that will give me 486 okay so ladies and gentlemen these are all the circle questions for the past three years of PSLE um, that's like on an average of a one circle question every year uh, is it difficult I think it's not too bad I haven't used any of the advanced uh, circle concepts one what are the advanced circle concepts uh, you can look at the previous video previous previous videos okay on the basics of circles as well as the advanced circles uh, we talk about finding leaf finding half leaf uh, finding the uh, arrowhead and things like that okay so those are the advanced concepts but uh, we haven't seen any of that in the PSLE so far okay even last year um, yeah last year uh, is not too bad okay so those are all the yeah this last year's one I know this is previous year 2018 2018 yeah yeah just 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 area okay just find the area but what you do need to know uh, is the formula the formula for area and the formula for the circumference of the circle so those are the basics okay so once again this is Mr. Ting here from Ace Scholars I want to stress one more time please make sure that your basics are good uh, your basic calculation uh, you know don't have any careless mistake uh, remember the formulas of this stuff I think that is more important at this point of time than learning all the different types of heuristics because uh, yes I know in prelim you get to do them uh, we are testing on them during prelim but then we don't really see a lot of that in PSLE okay a lot of application questions and that is all Mr. Ting signing off bye